Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our day number 38. Here's the problem for today. It's a geometry problem. In rectangle PQRS point T is the midpoint of side QR. So let's draw a rectangle here. P Q R S point T is the midpoint of QR. Let's find the midpoint here, right here. So far, so good. We are told that we are told that the area of the quadrilateral P Q T S is two third. P Q T S. Let me show you the P Q T S. But before I do that, let's let's find. What is the area of the rectangle P Q R S? And here are the answer choices. Three quarter, four fifth, eight ninth, nine tenth, four one. Again, one more time, I'm going to read it to you. The in the rectangle PQRS, point T is the midpoint of the side QR. QR, T is the midpoint. We are told that the area of the quadrilateral PQ, PQS, PQTS, PQTS, PQTS. We are told that the area of this quadrilateral is two thirds. The question simply is how much is the whole thing? How much is the area of PQRS? That's all. That's all. That's, that's how straightforward it is. Again, pause your video right away, solve it, and resume the video after you have the answer. Do not continue watching it. Solve it yourself first. I'm going to give you a few seconds, as always, to pause and unpause. Okay, here we go. The thing to do here is to realize that this thing that is given to us, this rectangle PQRS, can be broken into Four equal parts, as you can see. One, two, three, four. And now we are told that the area of the three of the parts, area of the area of the PQTS, PQTS, which comprises three parts, one, two, three. Area of the three parts equals two third. Well, if area of the three parts equals two third, then one part must equal a third of it, a third of two third. Again, one more time. These are the three areas. P, Q, T, three S comprises three parts. One, two, three. 
and the area of the three parts we are told is two thirds. If the area of the three parts is two thirds, whatever it is, area of the three three part, whatever it is, the area of one part should be a third of that, a third of two thirds, which is two ninth. We are interested in finding out the area of four parts, one, two, three, four. Therefore, four parts. And for those of you who do not know, this symbol means this symbol means therefore. Therefore, four parts equals four times that amount. Well, that's your answer. Eight ninth. The answer is not one, answer is not four fifth, three quarter, or nine tenth. The area of the whole thing is eight ninth. That was the answer. And that's it, that's the end of it. If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, I tutor for SAT, GRE, GMAT, and TOEFL. You can go to any of these website addresses that you see there and send me an email. Or you can go to kishwaniprep.com and send me an email from there. I tutor over the internet via Skype uh, for all of these exams plus the algebra, geometry, statistics, what have you. And of course you can also go as I said to kashwaniprep.com and send me an email from there. I tutor over the internet via Skype and of course face to face if you happen to be in my area. Alright, thank you.